Okay, sorry about that, Dave. I, I got interrupted here, threw me off, so I'm going to pick up here where I'm serving the food, uh, and we'll go from there, and then I'll go into the transition. Okay, so we have our carrots that we boiled here. We also have our vegetable medley here. I'm going to pass this around here. All of you have your toothpicks. So what I'd like you to do is um, try the, the uh, uh, carrots that we boiled first. Promise me you'll do that before we go into the vegetable medley. And let me know what you think of that. i got to tell you a little story here, though, before I pass this around. Uh, three weeks ago, I was in Sacramento doing a show. This is kind of funny. I actually uh, had a couple come into my booth, and uh, the one guy took off, and he went around looking for his tools and whatnot oh, throughout the show. And his wife was sitting there. And I did my demo, and I was talking about the carrots, and she saw how I was boiling the carrots and so forth. He comes back in right when I'm getting ready to serve the food. So I'm passing this around, and so they're taking the sample, I have this on separate plates, and they took the sample there, and he tasted the carrots that I had boiled, and the first thing out of his mouth was, do you have any salt or pepper that I can put on this here? So, actually whenever we boil food, that's what we really have to do, we have to add some flavor to it, right? Some butter, or salt and peppers, just so that we can spice it up a little bit. You know, there's a crazy cycle going on around here in Americans. Uh, let me know if you agree with me on this. How many of you spend at least $100 uh, a week on groceries, right? Some of you spend $200, $250 if you have a larger family, right? So that amounts to what? $5,200 at least, $5,200 a year. That's quite a bit. That, how many of you agree that that's a good part of our budget? Right, so when we bring it home, we want to make it tastes good and we want to eat healthy and so forth. Um, so we have to make our food taste really good and so we have to season it up. So we take our little margarine and our salt there and we do what we can to make it taste good, especially for our kids to eat it, right? And the doctors call this a stroke in a box and this is one molecule away from being plastic, right? Did you know that? Margarine, I can't believe it's not butter, one molecule away from being a plastic. How many agree that's kind of a problem? So I would say stick with the mother nature. If we've got to season our vegetables and our uh, food, let's use the real thing. Regular butter, it's not that bad for you as long as you don't overindulge in that, and sea salt to season that up. Again, as I was explaining to you earlier, the pink Himalayan salt and celery salt is also very good for you, so let's stay healthy. Now, you know, mom, you know, she works hard to make the meals and she's seasoning that up and we put all this other stuff on there, the salt and the, I can't believe it's not butter. And really, are we adding any nutrition to our meal with this stuff? No. No. Um, then mom would go out because we're not getting the right nutrition. She'll buy the vitamins for the kids. She'll buy the gummy bears. And what do we see in the ingredients in gummy bears? Sugar, right? That's the number one ingredient in the gummy bears, you know, so we're feeding our kids that. And then we go out and buy Zycam and we buy Airborne to keep us from getting sick. And because we cooked all the nutrients out of our vegetables, we go out and get vitamin B complex as well. You know, so we're spending all this money. And how many of you agree that that amounts to quite a bit over a period of time, right? I mean, we could be spending up to, like I said, $1,200 a year just on vitamins alone, you know. And... Uh, yeah, Mother Nature serves it to us on a silver platter right here, right? How many of you agree that we can get all this right out of our backyard? That's right. And how many of you like my salad? All of you like the salad, right? Wasn't that a good salad? Now, wouldn't you agree if we didn't have good tools like this in our home that we, this wouldn't even happen, right? Right. And the good thing about this, all this here came just out of this one quart pan. And the beauty of it is it's all American made. Let's have a nice applause for that. That's right, all American made. How many of you agree with me that if we don't continue buying America, American or start buying American, we're not going to be American for very long, right? Yeah, right. So how many of you would like to change our houses back into a home and start feeding our families every night. It's good to go out once in a while, but let's start eating at home. Would you agree that if we ate three to four times a, a, a week like this, that we'd be eating healthier, right? And if we're eating healthier, we would stay healthier? 
Absolutely. And when do we start? Today. Right. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pass this around. Um, you all have your toothpicks. And uh, you can set your toothpicks up here when you're done and come and get some more if you need some more. But just keep passing this around. Again, please promise me you'll try the boiled carrots first and then try the uh, vegetable medley after that. I'm going to cut up the corn. And if you don't mind, I'm going to, as I pass this around here, if you don't mind, I'm going to cut up the corn and can I tell you a story, a little story here? I have this guy, this friend of mine, his name is Dave. He actually trained me here. Uh, to start doing these shows here. He's been working for the company for uh, 15 years, and I'm cutting as I'm talking. Uh, he's been working for the company for 15 years. He had this lady come up to his booth one time, and she'd been coming to his shows a number of times over the years, right? And she'd always pick up a brochure. She said, today I'm going to buy a set, Dave. And she, he said to her, he said, well, what happened? She said, well, you know, every year I've come to your shows, I enjoy your shows, I got a brochure, I take it home to my husband. Finally, I said to my husband, you know, we're not getting any younger. Our kids are grown up and they're out of the house. We've got the grandkids coming over. I think it's time we start eating healthier so that we can live longer and be around for our grandkids. And he said, you know, dear, just go off and buy whatever you want. So when I showed him the price, he said, holy cow, are you crazy? Are you insane? She said, you know, well, it's healthy. It's healthy for us. And he said, well, uh, the, the, the guy, uh, uh, Dave said, well, what, did, what are you, uh, why are you here today? Why, why are you buying a set today? And she said, well, just the other day or last week, my husband actually went into the doctor and they, did, uh, they had to do an angiogram and they found that they, he needed some stints in his arteries. So they had to put three stints in his arteries. He had an angioplasty. And so when she went back and she talked to him, she said, he said, Honey, just go buy the biggest set that they have. So I'm here today. I had to tell you that story. Anyway, how many of you agree that we need to start eating healthy here or we're not going to be healthy for much longer, right? Okay. So how is that uh, uh, the carrots there, the boiled carrots? Everybody try the steamed carrots or the boiled carrots? Have you done a comparison yet? The zucchini? I was at the zucchini and you know again I didn't put any seasoning on it because I wanted you to taste it exactly the way it is okay hey let's go ahead and do a little raffle here or a, a, a drawing how many of you have seen one of these ginsu knives right we're gonna do a little drawing here I'm gonna put that out here this actually comes from Arkansas some people say it's the sharpest thing that comes out of Arkansas and uh, I'm going to take this pan this actually is a nice pan this actually was made in 1967 compared to today's pan look at that look how well it's held up you know this set here in 1967 cost three hundred and seventy five dollars and today it's worth well over two thousand dollars Okay, I'm going to get some numbers here, and let's say that there are numbers in here, and we're going to have a drawing here. Is everybody in the front row? Okay, so let's start off with you here. Number one, you're going to be number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and I'm going to have you draw. There you go. Okay, we have number nine. Number nine, right over there. Here you go. Here's your Jinsu knife. How many of you people would like? Hey, let's have a hand for uh, the winner here. Uh, start this one over. 